Kobe and Helmeppo work as chore boys at the 153rd Marine Branch, with Helmeppo now helpless and obedient. They progress to laundry duty while grown recruits practice sword techniques nearby. During lunch, Rika treats Kobe to onigiri, and Helmeppo seeks revenge on a voodoo doll of Luffy. Late at night, Kobe continues his studies in secret. Kobe and Helmeppo discover they'll serve on the ship transporting Morgan for his court-martial. Helmeppo worries about his father's fate. Carrying heavy equipment with Kobe above decks, Helmeppo suddenly breaks off as he spots something approaching the ship. What Helmeppo spotted is revealed to be the ship of a high-ranking marine officer. He, Kobe, and everyone else above decks salutes at its approach. Per arrangement, Vice Admiral Garp has come to continue Morgan's transport on his own ship. A tearful Helmeppo tries to approach his shackled father, but is held back by Kobe. Morgan suddenly attacks Vice Admiral Garp and seems to deal a fatal blow. While Kobe and Helmeppo scream in terror, Garp's aide leaps into action. Bursting his shackles, Morgan takes his son hostage. With the terrified Helmeppo in tow, Morgan makes his escape on a spared dinghy. Marines prepare to fire on Morgan's escape boat. Kobe attempts to stop the Marines, but Garp's aide intervenes. To everyone's shock, Vice Admiral Garp suddenly revives and crushes the nearby cannon with one hand, leaving it completely inoperable. Summoning his own courage for the first time, Helmeppo not only defies but outright disowns his father. Flabbergasting all the other Marines, Vice Admiral Garp admits he'd fallen asleep on the job and had not even noticed Morgan's attack. His son gone, the fugitive Morgan sails on alone. Helmeppo swims his way back to the Marine ship and is pulled aboard in the company of several recruits. Kobe and Helmeppo, along with their unit, bow and apologize to Vice Admiral Garp for their insubordination and failure to capture Morgan. They apologize particularly to Garp for their shortcomings. Vice Admiral Garp approaches them unexpectedly. Garp announces that he will mentor Kobe and Helmeppo and take them to Marine Headquarters. Garp's ship heads back to Marine Headquarters with the promising recruits. During the day, Kobe and Helmeppo continue their menial tasks while their superiors relax. At night, they undergo rigorous recruit training, a far cry from their life in the East Blue. In the dead of night, Kobe and Helmeppo engage in intense swordsmanship training, pushing each other to the limit. Marines from the 153rd branch visit Shellstown and inform Rika and Ririka about Kobe and Helmeppo's promotion, leaving Rika heartbroken. Vice Admiral Garp watches with satisfaction as Kobe and Helmeppo's training continues, knowing they have a long journey ahead to become true Marines.